Hey Fit Fam, Karen here. We're here at my gym. I'm here to show you some upper body workouts that are amazing to incorporate in your daily routine. Uh, don't be afraid of weights, ladies. They don't bulk you up. The more muscle you have on your body, the more fat you're going to burn. I'm probably going to show you some variations for beginner, intermediate, and also advanced. I think I'm also going to be showing you some cardio finishers. It's my favorite way to do cardio. Um, I could show you the HIT version, which is the advanced version, which is what I do now. But that's not how I started, so I'll show you some beginner modifications for that too. So you're not just sitting on treadmill all the time, bored. That's no fun. Get some dancing in there. I swear to God, I didn't take pre-workout. I don't take that crap. Just excited to get started. The blood pumping. Ready? Then let's get it. Okay, first up we have the upright row. You're just going to want to use either two dumbbells or the straight bar like I have here and bring it up and down. Next we have front raises. I also added side raises with it in this video. You can just stick with the front raises if you're a beginner. You're going to want to do 10 to 12 reps. For a beginner modification you can use a body weight exercise like a plank. Also you could add shoulder taps in or you can actually bring your arms out like a front raise if you'd like to. Lastly, you could also go down into a low plank. This also works on your upper back muscles. Next, we're moving on to back. Um, these are some of my favorite back exercises. This is a lat pull down you see here. Next, we're going to move on to the bent over row. You want to do each side equally. You want to make sure you bring that weight down and on the way up, squeeze your upper back muscles. Keep that back straight. Here's a nice beginner modification. You want to lay flat on your stomach, lift those back legs up, engage the core, and act like you're doing that lat pull down I showed you minus the weight. Next is chest. We're just working on a chest press here. Nice even movements, bringing the weights up and down. Beginner modification are push-ups. If push-ups on your toes are too hard, I suggest bringing your knees down. Keep those elbows in and close to your body. Next, we're moving on to biceps. I'm demonstrating here what's called a concentrated curl. Just bringing the weight up and down, really concentrating on that bicep muscle. Next, we have the beginner modification for bicep curls using a band. You could also use something like water jugs or vegetable cans or anything you have around the house. And I'm sorry guys, I'm not sure while we're moving in such slow motion. Next up we have triceps. I'm doing skull crushers here with an added leg raise. This is a compound movement and more advanced movement using a couple different muscle groups at once. If you're just starting you can stick with just the skull crusher working on those triceps. Keeping those feet flat on the ground. Sorry guys my sis got a little distracted here. Um, we, <laughs> we're still working on triceps. This is what we call a rope pull down. Same thing, you wanna keep your elbows in, triceps engaged, and just pull that rope up and down. Hydration is key, guys. While you're working out especially, and even after, you wanna make sure you hydrate. You wanna drink that water. Up oh, there he goes again, Mr. Handsome with that smile. Again, sis behind the camera. Let's go, you're getting distracted. We're gonna get into our cardio finishers now. What we have here is a modified burpee. And then this is an example of a burpee kind of with a jump minus the push up. Next we have curtsy lunges. If you wanna bring it up a notch, you're gonna to wanna to add in that jump. Kind of like a skater jump. Next we just have the regular squat. Prisoner squat, you can keep your hands up, helps keep your chest up. Next are jump squats. If you want to bring it up a notch, 
at that jump. Next, we're gonna have a modified mountain climber, just bringing your knees to your elbow. And again, if you're bringing it up, you're gonna do the full mountain climber. Next, we have knee raises, or the high knees. You wanna do 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds off, in between each round. Okay, last plank here. We're gonna get up and we're up, and I'm gonna do a little dance. And one, and two, come on sis, and one and two and three and shake it and okay got to get back to work another beginner cardio exercise you can do is on the treadmill you want to get into a brisk walk here um, you don't want to be holding on you want to be walking pumping those arms get that heart rate up you should be able to still hold a conversation but be a little bit winded if you want to take it up a notch you want to add an incline or turn up the speed a bit you can play with those intervals, bringing them up and down. These are all modifications for hit. Now this is gonna be a true hit. We're gonna do 20 seconds full out sprint. And then you want a 10 second rest. You wanna do this for five to 10 minutes. Be careful to hold on and get your feet safely on the sides so we don't have anybody flying off the treadmill. Again, hold on so you don't fly off the treadmill. Phew, done. guys I'm vibing high off of that workout I want to get in a quick smoothie just because I have a crazy day ahead I don't always just drink a smoothie or a protein shake after a workout sometimes I want to eat a full meal it's a myth that you need to have a smoothie or a protein shake right after your workout and getting that protein shuttled into your muscles right away it is important to have protein in your meals or have a protein shake um, to rebuild those muscles after you tear them down after a good workout Today I'm going to make one that's a little bit higher in fats um, instead of one that's kind of a carb heavy one. I would suggest starting with a base of veggies, not really fruit, 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 fruit. Don't be afraid of fruit though. It is fructose, which is a different type of sugar. It breaks down differently in the body. It's processed through the liver. Fructose doesn't go shuttling into the muscles kind of like glucose would. So if you're going to do fruits, I would suggest doing berries. They're lower glycemic. They are great frozen. You can buy them out of season. Be careful with bananas, swift. Especially if you're keto, my keto people, bananas are a no-go. They do have a lot of sugar. I think one banana has like 28 grams of sugar in them. But they're not the devil, they're not bad. Especially if you're paleo or just eating healthy. Um, I'd say start with like a half of a frozen banana, something like that. Two other good fructose choices if you're gonna choose fructose um, as your carb source in your smoothie would be organic maple syrup or organic raw local honey. It's my favorite, it's my jam right now. The base should consist, like I said, of mostly vegetables. Today I have spinach, I, you could use kale, you could use any greens you want. Don't be afraid to do something that sounds weird like a zucchini or even like a, like a summer squash. Um, if you chop those up and freeze them, they blend just like a banana would. It makes things real nice, thick, and creamy, and you're getting more veggies in and less fruit. Then you need to add your liquid. Today I'm gonna to be using coconut milk. Just coconut milk, nothing else in it. But any almond milk without tarragonin would be great, so it's non-inflammatory. So I would start by mixing your fruits, your veggies, and your liquids together, get that base going. And then you can add all the fun stuff. So like I said, today I'm doing a heavier fat shake I'm gonna do some avocado, look how beautiful. Avocado gives it a nice creamy consistency with the coconut milk. Um, you can choose your proteins. My favorite two, like I showed you last time, the collagen and the vegan one. If you're good with dairy, then stick with a high quality whey isolate. Uh, so also today, I'm going to be adding some flavor enhancers. I like my vanilla extract. 
and I'm gonna do some Duterte peppermint. You could also just do peppermint extract, you don't have to be fancy and use essential oils. I really am in the mood for like the McDonald's shamrock shake and there's always ways to curb your cravings and make things healthy and it'll taste just like it, it's gonna be great. We've got the spinach, we've got the coconut milk, we've got the protein, we've got the avocado. I'm gonna add that monk fruit for a little sweetener, vanilla and peppermint. Um, and I actually might add some coconut oil in to just boost the fats up a little bit more. Also, love MCT oil, gives you some quick energy, goes right into the bloodstream, boom. So if you were gonna do a carb heavier shake, I would suggest leaving out some of the fats. You could do the avocado. Avocado is considered a fruit. Adding in the berries with the greens, putting in a little bit of your sweetener and you're good to go. I would back off the fats a little bit with um, the coconut milk, maybe just stick with the almond milk and you know not put in the extra fat. All right, so I'm gonna put this all together. I'm gonna blend it all up and show you how amazingly delicious it is. Okay guys, oh so good, shamrock shake all the way. I hope you enjoyed this video, I really hope that you learned something about some of the exercises we did, we showed you some beginner modifications, some more advanced modifications. If you like this video, please give me a few thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss any more awesome workouts or recipes. Um, leave me some comments down below if there's anything that I didn't cover or you need some more explanation on anything. We got some more great videos coming your way, so make sure you don't miss out on that. I'm going to go drink my smoothie because I am hungry and I got work to do. Need that brain fuel. So everybody take care, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Not really sure why I feel like I need to be dancing in this video the whole time. <laughs>